As you pass all the market stalls, you notice a large number of non-Scorian people both shopping and working there. You turn to your guide, who seems to be measuring you with a careful eye. Tell me more of Esk bread. How is it processed? You ask. I can do better than that, my friend. I can show you this way. Although the word friend is still said with a level of disdain reserved for a diseased animal, you can't help but feel you just passed some sort of test. He leads you down towards the river where you are surprised to see a fairly traditional looking water wheel. He starts to describe to you the process of making the bread. You're not overly interested in it, but you pay attention anyway, in case it's information you'll need to maintain your cover in the future. You're surprised to learn the process uses a weed from the lake and cactus milk. There are workers milling around everywhere, some with green and some with yellow on their clothes. You are shocked to see one non-Scorian man in yellow garb with scars across his face. The moment your guide takes a breath, you ask him what quantities does he think he could supply. He rattles off some numbers and you play mildly disappointed. He smiles and so the games begin. He is of course referring to the bartering for price and quantity. You were well versed on this before you left. If you are too aggressive with negotiations, the deal will sour. That's not as bad as being too weak, however, as your timidness may prompt your guide to kill you for wasting his time. The usual bluster, outrage and eventual agreement followed. Your guide seemed disgruntled with the price and arrangement, but you knew this was a ruse. The information you had indicated that the guide was getting a very good deal. Compromise is said to be two equally disappointed parties, you state the old saying. He smiles at you. Of course, come dine with me and mine, and we will talk of Esk and the colours we display that you seemed so interested in. Of course, you can explore Esk further, but I unfortunately won't be able to guide you. I have things I need to attend to at home. He lifts his ledger, indicating the deal they had just struck. No doubt logistical considerations would need to be made in the supply of and payment for the run corn bread. You can't help but feel you've earned a modicum of respect from the guide and he would no doubt be far more generous with information now that business is concluded. Or, you do have the opportunity to explore Esk yourself, a potentially dangerous endeavour, but you may find the scarred man you saw working in the mill what will you do thank you very much for watching the video so far so we've got the choose your own adventure part you've got the choice of going to have dinner with this man and potentially garner some more information about esk out of him or you can go and try and find the scarred non-scorian person you saw working in the mill whatever you think you should do write it down in the comments below and that will dictate what we do next with the story and what we build all right thanks for watching